Hi guys, welcome back to the session. Today we will learn about Bot Insight in Automation Anywhere A 2019. So let's get started. Bot Insight is an analytics tool that gathers real time and interactive data from a bot in the form of dashboards. The dashboards provided by Bot Insight helps to measure the performance of your digital workforce and predict and solve business and operational problems. Now let's create a bot to understand this bot insight better. So here I have an employee data CSV file with the details, serial number, name, department, salary, quarter and bonus. Let's create a bot first to read this complete data. So for that inside automation anywhere a 2019, I'm going to use first of all the CSV text package where I'm going to use this open action. So let me add it here and let's take the session name as default and let's provide the file path of this CSV file. So let's move to desktop file and hit on browse. And from here, let's select this employee data CSV file and let's hit on open. And since this file contains headers, let's check this box contains headers and all done. Now I'm going to use the loop action to loop through each of the rows of this file. So for that, I'm going to use this loop action. Let me add it here. And here I'm going to choose the iterator as CSV text for each row in CSV text. And let's take the session name as default and let's assign the current row to this variable. So create a variable here to assign the current row value. So let's click on create variable. And here let's provide a name, employee record. And let's hit on create and select. So this employee record variable will hold the value of the rows one by one as the loop iterates. And here I'm going to use this record variable to assign the values to the variables. So for that next I'm going to use the assign action. And first item we have is the serial number, which is a numeric value that is one, two, three, four. So here I'm going to use the sign action from this number package. Let me add this assign action here. Let's take the source number variable, hit F2 and select this employee record variable, which we just created. Let's provide the column name as serial number and let's provide it here. Next, we'll have to create a variable for the destination number variable. So create a variable. I'll give the variable name as serial number. And let's click on create and select. In a similar way, let's take the next column, which is name. And this is a string value. So here I'm going to take the assign action from the string package. Let me add it here. In the source string, again, I'm going to take this record variable by name. Let's hit on yes, insert and create a destination string variable here. So destination I'm going to take as the name variable. Let's hit on create and select. In a similar way, the next column with us is the department. Let's take this one, which is a string value. So again, I'm going to take this assign from the string package. Let's take this record variable and provide the name and create a destination variable again i'm going to create the destination variable as department now the next one with us is the salary which is a number value so here i'm going to take the assign action from the number package let's take the variable as employee record Let's go by name as salary, hit on yes, insert, and again, create the destination number variable. The name I'm going to take as salary, hit on create and select. Now the second last with us is the quarter, which is a string value, Q1, Q4, Q2, all these are string values. So here I'm going to take the assign action from the string package. Again, I'll follow the same process, employee record. Let's go by name as quarter and create the destination string variable as quarter. Hit on create and select. 
and the last column with us is the bonus in percentage so let's take this one this is again a number variable number value so here I'm going to take the assign action from the number package let's take this employee record let's go by name hit on yes insert and let's create the destination number variable which will I'll take as bonus and let's create this one now at the end I'm going to close this CSV file as well so at the end of the loop once the loop is over I'm going to close the CSV file so all done now to get the business inside dashboards having the data logged by these variables which we created I'm going to use the actions from the analyze package so here once the loop starts here I'm going to use this open action to open a transaction so let me add it here and once the assign actions are over at the end I'm going to use this close action from the analyze package to close the transaction now here you'll have to select the variables which you wish to have in the graphs of the dashboard so let's say that you don't want to have any graphs which contain serial number and name you want to have the graphs in the dashboards only with the combination of department salary quarter and bonus so in that case you will check these variables only that is department salary quarter and bonus so in this case if these are of no use to you you can skip these assign actions to assign the value to serial number and name variable so our bot is ready to read this complete data from the CSV file let's save this bot and let's quickly run this bot and my bot is running now and with this the execution is over let's hit on close now to get the business inside dashboard click on three dots and select analyze task bot and here we are getting redirected to default business dashboard of this respective bot let's see what all information we have here so first of all we have is the total salary and total bonus next we have a donut chart which displays how the salary varies by bonus so basically this chart displays the relation between this number variable salary and the string variable quarter in a similar way we have a next donut chart which displays how salary varies by department now next chart with us is the bar chart which displays the salary distribution by quarter here in the y-axis the there is the salary parameter which is the number variable we took and in the x-axis there is the quarter variable which we took as a string variable in a similar way we have this next bar chart which displays the salary distribution by department now if I move to this profile tab this profile tab displays the information about the variables and the transaction data so here as you see there are two tables first is the task name which has the information of variables which we selected here department salary quarter and bonus so all these variables are listed here along with their information such as display name data type inclusion minimum maximum average and sum now the next table with us is the transaction data which has the variables transaction start name business transaction status and so on along with this information now if I move to this preview tab here you will get the total number of records maintained for each variable so let's move to the dashboard again and here if you notice in the left hand side there is a dashboard filter so you can filter the dashboard as per your requirement on the basis of attributes numeric or time let's say that you want to have a filter in your dashboard on the basis of this attributes so any of the attribute you can take more than one also you can take let's take the attribute as department on which you wish to filter the dashboard 
Now here you can select the departments whether to include or exclude from the dashboard. So let's say that you want to exclude these departments. So you'll check this one and select this exclude and hit on apply. So you see here the dashboard has been filtered on the basis of the filter which you applied. In a similar way, if you wish to have the filters on the basis of numbers, you can go ahead. Let's say that you want to have filter on the basis of salary. So select this salary. And here you have the option to apply for range at least at most or equal. Let's say that you want to have the data in the dashboard which has at least salary of minimum 15,000. So you applied this filter, hit on apply. And with this, the dashboard is getting filtered. And this is the filtered dashboard on the basis of attribute and numeric which we selected. In a similar way, you can apply the filter on the basis of transaction start time and transaction end time as well. So let's remove this filter as of now. Let's clear these filters. Now this dashboard also allows you the option to edit it as per your requirement. But this is a default dashboard. You won't be able to save your edits in this dashboard. So here you see under the actions, this save is disabled. So you cannot save your edits in this dashboard. Now, if you wish to both edit and save your dashboard, your, what you will do, you'll have to first make a copy of this dashboard. So to make a copy, hit on save as and provide a dashboard name. So let's provide a dashboard name here. Bot inside demo customized dashboard. And let's hit on save. So with this, we made a copy of the default dashboard. Here we are in the customized dashboard, which we created. Now here you can edit the dashboard and save them as well. Let's make a edit here. Let's say that Instead of how salary varies by quarter, you want a graph to display how bonus varies by quarter. So how you will edit this graph? So for that, you will click on this three dots and select this settings. And here you will get several options to edit the chart. So let's edit the chart title first. Let's say how does bonus vary by quarter? then you can change the chart type as well. So instead of this donut chart, let's take the pie chart. Then let's keep the group by as quarter only. Let's change the metric instead of salary as bonus and aggregate by sum. Let's keep it as sum it only and let's hit on next. And let's hit on finish. So with this, you see we edited this graph as per the requirement. Now in a similar way, if you wish to add more charts here, so you can click on this circle, select your required chart from here, provide the details and you will be done with your addition. And once you are done with all the edits, what you can do, you can, you'll move to action and you will save this dashboard. Let's hit on save. So that was all about the business dashboard. Now, along with the business dashboard, Bot Insight also provides the operational dashboard. So let me show you an overview of operational dashboard as well. So move to this My Dashboards. And here you see we have two tabs. First one is operations and second one is business. This business is the tab which we just saw. All the business dashboards which you create will be listed here. Let's move to operations and let and in under the operations, there are two dashboards. First one is the device dashboard and second one is the bot dashboard. So let me show you this device dashboard. And here we are in the device dashboard. Let's see what all information we have here. First one is the online devices. It will show the number of devices which are online then the number of devices which are offline and the bot schedules on the device. Next, you will get a graph which will show the device utilization. And next, you will have all the records of device activ activity history will be listed here. 
Now also in case if you get any error, all those errors will be listed under the top error messages. And in a similar way like business dashboard, you will also get the filter options under this device dashboard also. So that was all about the device dashboard under the operations. Now one thing also to notice here is that we moved to this business dashboard and the device dashboard from this bot analyze task bot option. But you also have the option to move to bot insight section from the control room homepage. So let's move to homepage and here you have the option to open bot insight. So let's click on open bot insight. And here we have been navigated to the dashboards. First tab is for the operations dashboard which contains device and the bots dashboard. Second one is the business dashboard which will contain all the business dashboards which you create. So from our bot which we created today, we created this bot inside demo which was the default business dashboard and then we customized the dashboard, we edited the dashboard and we did it under the bot inside demo customized dashboard. So that was all about the bot inside guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did give it a like and share with your friends. Hit the bell button to get the updates on the latest videos. And if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel as well. And I'll see you soon in the next one. Bye-bye.